Reverend Insanity Chapter 1081 Fang Yuan Contributes a Plan The chestnut yak was slammed down by Fang Yuan's own paw and did not dare to climb back up again. No matter what methods Twelfth Hair used, he was unable to make this chestnut yak climb back up and fight again. The desolate beast is weak, the Gu Immortal is also useless. Fang Yuan shook his head internally and dispelled his immortal killer move. In moments, the giant flying bear turned into a ball of light. From within the ball, Fang Yuan's figure slowly walked out and descended to the ground. I lost once again. Brother Fang is truly amazing. Twelfth Hair tried for a long time but seeing no success, he could only cup his fists towards Fang Yuan, admitting defeat. He and Fang Yuan had sparred several times already. At first, after he lost, he did not admit defeat and remained obstinate. But after several times, he was already less affected. Loss became normal and victory instead was the anomaly. Twelfth brother, you should practice your immortal killer move more frequently. And this chestnut yak is weak and timid. It is better if you change to another desolate beast as soon as possible. Fang Yuan advised. Twelfth hair repeatedly nodded his head and sighed. This is all because Treasure Yellow Heaven is closed. When it opens, I will immediately buy a desolate beast for combat. This yak already has none of its wild nature left. I already thought of throwing it away. But I need to bear the cost of buying a desolate beast myself. This is the rule created after the sect was established. Sigh, my beast enslavement immortal goo is also not mine. I still need to pay to use it. Enough talking. I need to hurry back to refine goo and sell them to earn immortal essence stones. See you? Fang Yuan nodded. Twelfth hair took back the chestnut yak and hurriedly left. Good, I have obtained twenty sect contribution points again. Fang Yuan gazed at the receding figure of Twelfth hair, his mind rippling with some joy. Over these last few days, he had not only been sparring with Twelfth hair, he also had similar contact with other hairy man Gu immortals. Although the secret transactions between Fang Yuan and Sixth Hair had already finished, Sixth Hair repeatedly visiting Fang Yuan's Cloud City during the process was a small flaw. Although Fang Yuan had joined Lang Ye sect and become an external supreme elder, there had always been a barrier between him and the hairy man Gu immortals. After all, the human race was powerful currently, while hairy men were a type of variant human which suffered persecution from humans. Fang Yuan might be on their side, but the hairy man Gu immortals kept away from him. Why would Sixth Hair suddenly pay visits to Fang Yuan on his own initiative? This would certainly incite doubts. To fix this flaw, after the transaction, Sixth Hair subtly revealed to the other hairy man Gu Immortals that he looked for Fang Yuan in order to raise his battle strength. Because the previous sudden invasion by Shadow Sect, along with the tribulations just now, had made him feel his battle strength was truly lacking. So he looked for the human Gu Immortal, Fang Yuan, to ask for advice. To increase the trustworthiness of his words, Sixth Hair sparred with the other hairy man Gu Immortals and defeated them. Sixth Hair was a spy, one of the split souls of Spectral Soul. He had deep combat proficiency and just using a little bit of it was enough for him to easily defeat them all. This event caused a commotion in the small circle of hairy man Gu Immortals. Even Lang Yalan spirit heard about it and affirmed Sixth Hair's actions in front of everyone. He even encouraged other hairy man Gu Immortals to ask for guidance from Fang Yuan. After all, the extremely low battle strength of the hairy man Gu Immortals had all along been a worry for Lang Yalan's spirit. After Sixth Hair, other hairy man Gu Immortals went to Fang Yuan for guidance. With just a little thinking, Fang Yuan realized Sixth Hair's intention and enthusiastically welcomed the other hairy man Gu Immortals because this was a profitable thing with no harm to Fang Yuan. First of all, he would be relying on Lang Ye sect for a long period of time to cultivate more conveniently and be safer when undergoing tribulations. So having a good relationship with these hairy man Gu immortals was a must. Second, like Sixth Hair's considerations, 
Fang Yuan had to cooperate as well to make up for the flaw created because of the transactions. Lastly, Fang Yuan needed sect contribution points. From now on, if he wanted Lang Ya Lan spirits help to borrow the strength of Lang Ya sect, he could not always negotiate deals with Lang Ya Lan spirit. Previously, he could make deals with Lang Ya Lan spirit because the land spirit had taken a fancy upon his Luo Po Valley, Dang Hun Mountain and Wisdom Gu. But from now on, to make Lang Ya sect help him, the main thing would be to use sect contribution points. This was Lang Ya Sex rule. Even Lang Ya Land Spirit took the initiative to comply to it. Lang Ya Land Spirit had already issued sect missions. The types of missions were mainly about guiding Hairy Man Gu Immortals to raise their battle strength. Lang Ya Land Spirit himself was not suitable for these missions, and Fang Yuan was the only suitable candidate. In these last few days, Fang Yuan guided many hairy man Gu immortals, and the response was extremely enthusiastic. Even when the hairy man Gu immortals who came later did not receive good training, they did not blame Fang Yuan and instead found reasons caused by themselves. On one hand, Sixth Hair set an example. On the other, Fang Yuan knew about the information of these hairy men and used his exquisite communicative skills to enthusiastically get along with them making these hairy man Gu immortals have a huge change in their impression of Fang Yuan. As for why Fang Yuan knew about the information of these hairy man Gu immortals, that was because he had obtained a lot of intel about Lang Ya Blessed Land from his transactions with Shadow Sect. Fang Yuan calculated, With this, my sect contribution points amount to over 140. This is quite lucrative. Every time he gave guidance would provide Fang Yuan 20 sect contribution points. Previously, when Fang Yuan had lent Dang Hun Mountain, Duo Po Valley and other resources, he had only earned about 300 contribution points. These 140 sect contribution points are enough to exchange for some flowing light fruits. With such thoughts, Fang Yuan moved towards the First Cloud City. In First Cloud City, he saw Lang Ya Lan spirit. Lang Ya Lan spirit sized up Fang Yuan and praised, as worthy of change form immortal Gu, this hairy man Gu immortal you have transformed into has almost no flaws, unless I use investigative immortal Gu. When Fang Yuan was arriving, he suddenly had a brilliant idea and used change form immortal Gu to transform into a hairy man Gu immortal. His aim was clear, it was to get into to Lang Ya Land Spirit's good books. Lang Ya Land Spirit held the ideology of hairy men rulership, and when he saw this appearance of Fang Yuan, he smiled happily and started praising change form Immortal Gu. In fact, he found his opinion of Fang Yuan rising. Fang Yuan, however, sighed and spoke with a bitter tone. This transformation is still not complete, although I have change form Immortal Gu. I lack everlasting immortal goo. If I had everlasting immortal goo, I could completely transform into a hairy man and truly become a member of Lang Ya sect. Lord First Supreme Elder, you might not know, but after these days of being in contact with other hairy man goo immortals, I am deeply moved. Human goo immortals are crafty and on guard against each other, but hairy men are forthright and sincere, united, warm and cordial. This is a true home. I already can't bear to part with this place. Lang Ya Lan spirit laughed heartily and repeatedly patted Fang Yuan's shoulder. Fang Yuan, having such an awareness is good, very good. If he knew Fang Yuan had transacted with Shadow Sect just some days ago and did not report the spy, he would flay Fang Yuan, this insidious fellow, alive. But what a pity, Lang Ya Lan spirit did not know any of it. I have seen your actions over these last days. You have guided these children and raised their battle strength by a lot, especially sixth hairs. Good, good. These last days, I have heard a lot of good things about you from other hairy man goo immortals. Ah, what matter did you come for this time? Lang Ya Lan spirit asked. I wanted to use some sect contribution points to exchange for some flowing light fruits. Fang Yuan replied. That's a small matter, as long as your contributions are enough, 
exchanging for flowing light fruits is no problem. Lang Yalan spirit waved his hand and said frankly. Fang Yuan pretended to hesitate. I have a very slight opinion regarding Lang Ya's sex development. I don't know if I should say it or not. Tell me about it, I'm listening. Lang Yalan spirit squinted his eyes and smiled. Fang Yuan spoke. Over these last days of sparring with many hairy man Gu immortals, I made some findings. Their battle strength needs to be raised urgently, but how to raise them is the problem. Because all of them primarily cultivate refinement path, and although refinement path also has offensive methods, it is inferior to the offensive prowess of other paths. Lang Yalan spirit nodded. Fang Yuan's words hit his core problems. He could not help but sigh. This is precisely what I am worried about. Fang Yuan continued. Actually, there is a good way to increase battle strength. That is transformation path. Transformation path? Right. Fang Yuan slowed down before continuing. Among all the Gu cultivation paths, to speak of the one that can increase battle strength the fastest, that would be blood path. But blood path is extremely dangerous and is too threatening to others. Its reputation is vile and it is hated by everyone. Moreover, if one's blood path cultivation is even slightly high, their name will be added to Heavenly Court's Demon Judgment Board and that would expose us. So, blood path won't do. You are right, Lang Yalan's spirit approved. Actually, he was also apprehensive towards blood path. If Harry Man Gu Immortals cultivated blood path, he was worried if it would lead to internal strife and conflicts in Lang Ya sect. Fang Yuan spoke with assurance. Besides blood path, the path that can increase battle strength the fastest is transformation path. The threshold for transformation path is very low. Its immortal killer moves also don't require any planning. Any kind of transformation is an immortal killer move. Normal immortal killer moves require at least a few years of trial and error, right? And in Langya sect, there are large numbers of immortal goo recipes which includes many transformation path immortal goo recipes. We have many immortal goo recipes but few immortal killer moves. If hairy man goo immortals cultivate refinement path primarily and transformation path as the secondary path, they can take advantage of the strengths and avoid the weaknesses. The hairy man goo immortals are not hardened. To raise their battle strength would not be a day's work. If they transformed into desolate beasts, their bodies would become tougher. Even if they make some mistakes in battles, it won't be much of a problem. They can fight back. It won't be like other paths such as fire path and water path. The body is extremely weak and without defensive methods. They would be in extreme danger in the battlefield. Transformation path immortal goo recipes are easy to deduce and their immortal materials are easy to obtain. Thus the immortal goo are easy to refine as well. Hairy man goo immortals can transform into desolate beasts to fight and it can also be a way to disguise their hairy man identities. Although Langya sect has deep foundations, the five regions are still ruled by humans. As long as we can do so, we should give as little chance to expose ourselves as possible. Chapter 1082 Quality over Quantity Lang Yalan spirit could only keep on nodding at Fang Yuan's well-founded words. Reasonable, reasonable, he praised. I am flattered. This is only my shallow opinion. Fang Yuan spoke modestly. Land spirits were straightforward. Lang Ya Land spirit did not understand Fang Yuan's modesty, retorting with a shake of his head. No, this is not just a shallow opinion, it is a true insight. Your words have inspired me greatly. They are a huge contribution towards Lang Ya sect. According to Lang Ya sect's rules, just this contribution could have raised your status by one level. For instance, sixth hair could promote to fifth hair. But you are not a true hairy man Gu immortal right now, so you can only receive 200 sect contribution points. At the end, Lang Yalan spirit looked at Fang Yuan and sighed in regret. Fang Yuan also showed an extremely regrettable expression on his face. 
He was only an external elder at present and did not need to complete any missions, and every month he would get ten sect contribution points. However, other hairy man Gu immortals were genuine members, and their monthly earnings were much higher. Moreover, the higher the hairy man Gu immortals' ranking, the more sect contribution points they would receive each month. How I wish to become a true hairy man, Fang Yuan lamented, showing a genuine and sincere expression on his face, as if he truly wanted that. Lang Yalan's spirit spoke, It is a pity that Treasure Yellow Heaven is closed at the moment. Once it opens, I will start a large-scale purchase of the desolate beasts. I have a slight opinion about this. Fang Yuan quickly spoke, There are many hairy man Gu immortals, and to nurture them, no matter how great our sex assets are, we won't be able to bear such expenses. Moreover, this is not the way to run a business. I suggest we develop our own resources. Oh, how do you propose we do that? Lang Yalan's spirit asked. Fang Yuan replied, Simple, like other super forces, we occupy the resources in the five regions. Lang Yalan's spirit showed a reluctant expression. He had already thought of this before and also carefully pondered its advantages and disadvantages before considering it an undesirable choice. The reason was evident. Hairy men were variant humans and could not be out in the open in the current age. Although there were variant human forces in northern plains, one clear example being Inkman City, this Inkman City only had one Inkman Gu immortal publicly, and in history, Inkman City's founder, Immortal Yi Yan, had paid a heavy price to reach an agreement with Giant Sun Immortal Venerable. These two factors allowed Inkman City to barely be able to survive amidst the countless powerful human forces. If Lang Ya Sex Force appeared in the open, with so many hairy man Gu Immortals, it would definitely provoke human Gu Immortals encroaching upon their bottom line. Whether it be righteous path, demonic path, or lone immortal forces, they would not easily allow the existence of such a powerful outside force. Lang Yalan's spirit might be straightforward, but he was not foolish. He wholeheartedly wanted to make hairy men rule the world, but he was still very aware of the current situation. However, Fang Yuan had already expected this reaction from Lang Yalan's spirit, as he continued, First Supreme Elder, I am not suggesting for Lang Yasek to openly fight with human forces for the outside world's resources. We will instead focus on occupying the resources they have not occupied and secretly develop. Realization dawned upon Lang Yalan spirit. You are referring to those dangerous forbidden areas? Northern Plains was vast and broad, but the large and super forces had already split the cultivation resources found within it. What remained mainly were the ten great fierce areas. First Supreme Elder is wise. Fang Yuan immediately gave a thumbs up in admiring fashion. The ten great fierce areas are dangerous, but at the same time, they contain plentiful opportunities. In my opinion, Earth Trench is a good place. We can set up a teleportation goo formation, letting the hairy man goo immortals freely go back and forth the blessed land and Earth Trench. There are countless desolate beasts and ancient desolate beasts in Earth Trench. They are perfect for the hairy man Gu immortals to train their combat abilities. Moreover, by killing these desolate beasts, we can use their body parts to refine transformation path immortal Gu. If we capture these desolate beasts, we can also use beast enslavement immortal Gu to enslave them and make them aid us, increasing the defense of the blessed land. One of the crucial components for this was a teleportation Gu formation. Accurately speaking, a Gu formation that could transport Gu immortals. Lang Ya sect undoubtedly possessed such a method. Because when Fang Yuan was previously hurrying back from southern border, he used the teleportation Gu formation at Feng Bo Cliff to get rid of those troublesome cloud beasts and return to Lang Ya blessed land. That teleportation goo formation had left a deep impression on Fang Yuan. Lang Ya Lan spirit sank into contemplation. This matter is too significant. I need to consider it properly. I am only suggesting. The significant matters in the sect still need to be decided by you, First Supreme Elder. 
If my suggestion is flawed, I hope you can be lenient. Fang Yuan was deeply aware that pushing too much could be detrimental. He changed the topic to the flowing light fruits he wanted to obtain. After a while, he left with a large number of flowing light fruits. Parting with the land spirit, he returned to his own cloud city and immediately started arranging these flowing light fruits. Flowing light fruits were not ordinary fruits. They were formed from pure bundles of light. If ordinary people were to try to touch them, they would just pass through their hands. Special methods were needed to collect these fruits. These fruits did not grow on plants or trees like ordinary fruits either. Instead, they were a pure materialization of dense aurora lights. Aurora lights were of many colors, so the same went for flowing light fruits, having all kinds of color like red, brown, yellow, green, black, blue, purple, etc. Flowing light fruits were the food of attitude goo. The reason Fang Yuan exchanged for flowing light fruits was because of this. Ever since the transactions, the immortal Gu Fang Yuan possessed had suddenly increased to a terrifying number. Counting his current collection. Rank 9 Immortal Gu, Wisdom Gu. Rank 8 Immortal Gu, Attitude Gu, Wisdom Sword Gu. Rank 7 Immortal Gu, Change Soul, Sword Eyebrows, Wave Sword, Sword Escape, Calamity Beckoning. Rank 6 Immortal Gu, Unravel Mystery, Woman's Heart, Blood Asset, Dark Limit, Dog Shit Luck, Change Form, Strength Kai, Self Strength, Flying Bear Strength, Pulling Mountain, Pulling Water, Landscape as Before, Man as Before, Star Eyes. Among them, to refine Bo King's Sword Path Goo Worms, Fang Yuan had left Woman's Heart in Hu Immortal Blessed Land before the Battle of Yitian Mountain. He had used the Light of Wisdom to construct a Goo Formation in which Unravel Mystery and Woman's Heart were two components. But Unravel Mystery was brought away by Fang Yuan after it had been activated at the start. Woman's Heart, however, needed to remain in the Gu formation, until Bo King's Sword Path Immortal Gu were successfully refined, before it could be taken out. Because of this, after the Battle of Yitian Mountain, when Fang Yuan used Lang Ye Sect to completely move away the resources in the two blessed lands, Woman's heart was also taken by Lang Ya Blessed Land before finally returning to Fang Yuan's hands. Connect Luck Gu and Iron Crown Eagle Strength Gu, which originally belonged to Fang Yuan, were placed in Treasure Yellow Heaven by Ying Wu Zai, so Fang Yuan was not able to obtain them during the transactions. After finishing the transactions, it was even more impossible for him to get them back. Among the Star Path Goo Worms, only Star Eyes Immortal Goo returned to Fang Yuan's possession, while it was a mystery whether the other Immortal Goo like Star Shoot, Star Mark, Starlight, and Star Thought were in Ying Wu Zai's hands, he did not know if they still existed or not. In the Battle of Yitian Mountain, when Graceful Chaotic Duel Stage broke down, many of its Goo Worms were destroyed, but there were still some goo worms remaining which had been left behind in the immortal zombie body's immortal aperture. Fang Yuan was not too familiar with those goo worms, and he did not even remember their appearances the loss of memories, and also did know how many of them were withheld by Ying Wu Zai. It was not that Fang Yuan did not want to take these goo worms back, but before he could even talk about it, Ying Wu Zai had already concluded the transaction. Normally speaking, there was a rule for immortal goo, quality over quantity. Forget about mortal goo, even for a large number of mortal goo, goo immortals could raise them. Immortal goo were the key factor in measuring a goo immortal's strength. Very few goo immortals raised as many immortal goo as Fang Yuan currently possessed. Even many rank 8 goo immortals did not have as many as Fang Yuan. This was not in the least bit exaggerated. It was enough for most Goo Immortals to have two or three Immortal Goo. Naturally, these Immortal Goo were suited for their ranks. One Immortal Goo, when matched with large numbers of different combinations of Mortal Goo, could result in different Immortal Killer moves and produce different effects which covered offense, defense, movement, healing, and other aspects. But just one Immortal Goo was not enough. Because with just one immortal goo, 
the Goo Immortal could only activate one Immortal Killer move at one time. If they used a defensive killer move, they would not have offensive methods, or they would lose their movement advantage, and could only be in a passive situation. If they used defense, then they would not have defensive method, which could cause the Goo Immortal's situation to be very dangerous. But with two Immortal Goo, both could be simultaneously used to cover all aspects. Having more than three Immortal Goo would become a burden, generally, they could not be nurtured properly and used. After all, activating Immortal Goo required Immortal Essence. There were few examples where someone used higher rank Immortal Goo like Fang Yuan using rank 7 Immortal Goo. It was because he was a special case and his experiences were different from the vast majority of Goo Immortals. Goo Immortals were very selective in choosing Immortal Goo. They were selective not in terms of quantity, but they focused on and limited the range of types of Immortal Goo. A Fire Path Goo Immortal would perform best with Fire Path Immortal Goo. Using Water Path or Ice Path would simply be looking for trouble. Even if they had Immortal Goo of other paths, they could at most be used as supplementary Goo Worms for Immortal Killer moves. The quality of Immortal Goo was valued, not their number. This was common sense in the cultivation world. Almost all Gu Immortals knew of it. To Fang Yuan, however, this was not applicable. Because he had the 9-5 Sovereign Immortal Aperture. He had no worries about not having enough space in his Immortal Aperture. The rate of time was also fast, allowing the resources inside to grow extremely quickly. These were all part of his potential. Fang Yuan was already aware he had the potential to bear the burden of supporting large numbers of immortal goo. Since he had this potential, he naturally would excavate as much of it as possible. The second reason was that Fang Yuan was earning a lot daily. His current financial condition was extremely good. His sovereign immortal aperture produced 96 beads of immortal essence every year. This one year was in relation to the time in the immortal aperture. In terms of the time in the outside world, his aperture would produce 16 beads of immortal essence every day. This number was already a lot, even those of the 10 extreme physiques could not compare to it. When factoring in Fang Yuan's monthly income, this number was simply a drop in the bucket. This meant Fang Yuan had the capital to provide for these immortal Gu. There was also Lang Ye's sect, which could be relied upon to a certain degree. These three reasons added up to make Fang Yuan determined in raising large numbers of immortal Gu to raise his battle strength. There was no other way. Whether it was facing Heaven's will or the calamities and tribulations, Fang Yuan needed to ensure his strength was high. A Gu immortal's battle strength mostly came from their immortal Gu and immortal killer moves. Currently, Fang Yuan had few immortal killer moves, and he could not use Wisdom Gu either. Deducing more would require too much time, so he could only place his efforts in the aspect of Immortal Gu. Fang Yuan was naturally aware of Ying Wu Zai's scheme. It was to increase Fang Yuan's burden by giving him these Immortal Gu and letting him have no time and energy to influence shadow sex movements. However, Fang Yuan needed large numbers of Immortal Gu to keep up his battle strength. He also had the potential and the capital to raise these immortal goo. This was completely different from when he was an immortal zombie. The 9-5 Sovereign Immortal Aperture was the most crucial reason. Chapter 1083, Feeding Immortal Goo Most of Fang Yuan's attention was on his immortal aperture. Large numbers of light path mortal goo flew around before carrying flowing light fruits towards the sky piercing through layers and layers of heavens, after a long period of flying, these flowing light fruits finally reached the highest layer. Fang Yuan's sovereign immortal aperture was divided into five regions and nine heavens. After considering it, Fang Yuan stored all the flowing light fruits in the highest layer. Although there are quite a few space path Dao marks, I cannot imitate land spirits and directly use space path Dao marks to teleport. After all, there is a huge difference between a Gu Immortal and Land Spirit. 
land spirits are special existences formed from heavenly power merged with the Gu Immortal's obsession. The Sovereign Immortal Aperture is extremely vast. It seems I will have to arrange a transportation Gu formation inside to facilitate the ease of transferring resources, and to adjust the structure and the layout of the various resources. Fang Yuan's thought process was quite scattered. Right now, all the flowing light fruits had entered the highest layer of the aperture. The Gu Worms Fang Yuan had mobilized brought the flowing light fruits to a specific location. Poof, poof, poof. In the next moment, soft explosions went off endlessly. The flowing light fruits self-detonated one after the other. Each flowing light fruit was not big, but after self-detonation, they rapidly formed into aurora lights that filled the sky, shining with all kinds of colors, forming a beautiful sight. The essence of these flowing light fruits was condensed aurora light. The reason Fang Yuan gathered these flowing light fruits was to feed Attitude Gu. But why was he detonating these flowing light fruits? It was because although the quantity of these flowing light fruits was not small, it was far from enough to fill Attitude Gu. Attitude Gu was a rank 8 immortal Gu. Although its duration between feeding times was extremely long, every feeding session required an enormous amount of flowing light fruits. This was normal when feeding goo worms. Normally, the higher the rank of the goo worms, the more food they required, but the interval between each feeding session would increase greatly as well. Goo worms altogether had nine ranks. Rank eight was only below rank nine. The amount of food attitude goo required was naturally an enormous number. So Fang Yuan obtained these flowing light fruits in order to produce more fruits from them. He detonated 80% of these fruits. He let the remaining 20% of the fruits float to the sky, nourishing them in the vast aurora lights. As for the light path mortal goo which carried the fruits, Fang Yuan retrieved and stored them. My sect contribution points were originally not many, but who could have thought that after giving a suggestion, Lang Ya Lan spirit himself increased my sect contribution points and I was able to exchange for a satisfying number of these flowing light fruits. Next, I need to bring in large numbers of immortal goo, dazzling light goo, to let these aurora lights grow. Dazzling light goo could erupt with red aurora lights to maintain their survival. Fang Yuan would need to add in their food here, which was scorching swan stones. However, neither of these were available in Lang Yesek's treasury. Fang Yuan needed to wait until Treasure Yellow Heaven reopened to put this plan into action. Moreover, Dazzling Light Goo is only the simplest method to produce Aurora Lights. It is not very effective. There are Goo Immortals in Treasure Yellow Heaven who sells flowing light fruits. I remember that among them are Visitor Kinzia, King Huey Zai and Fairy Kai Zia. Maybe I can ask for guidance from them, paying an amount to purchase their insights. But whether this succeeds or not, it will depend on their decision. There was still quite a long time before Attitude Gu starved. Fang Yuan was planning for the future by doing this. After all, Attitude Gu's appetite was too huge, making prior preparations wouldn't be the least harmful. Right now, Fang Yuan's situation was still rather leisurely. Although he had gained a lot of immortal Gu, it was not the time to feed most of them and the first earthly calamity had been passed not long ago. There was still ample time before the second calamity. Fang Yuan now intended to focus on managing his immortal aperture as his main priority. I have already prepared for Attitude Gu's feeding. But Attitude Gu is not mine, there is High Lu Lan's will inside it. Right now, I know that High Lu Lan has betrayed the agreement and sided with Ying Wu Zai so some of the information path restrictions on me should have been broken as well. That means I can now refine this Attitude Gu to make it my own. Attitude Gu was the greatest harvest Fang Yuan made recently. Even Fang Yuan, when he borrowed Gu from Hai Lu Lan back then, had not thought there would be a day Attitude Gu would fall into his hands. But refining Attitude Gu was not a simple matter. Because Attitude Goo was not a wild immortal goo, 
Moreover, it was rank 8 while Fang Yuan was merely a rank 6 Gu Immortal. For him to forcibly refine a rank 8 Immortal Gu of another person was not only incomparably difficult, it could also destroy Attitude Gu if he did not handle it properly. But I have a method which can help me refine Immortal Gu of others. That Gu formation which I thought of before, I will just name it Wisdom Refinement Formation for now. Fang Yuan casually chose a name. He was not concerned about these minor details, which was why he only named the Gu Formation now. Previously, he had robbed many Sword Path Immortal Gu from Immortal Zombie Bo King, and to refine them, he used the Light of Wisdom and Star Thoughts to deduce the Wisdom Refinement Formation. The Wisdom Refinement Formation was constructed by using the Light of Wisdom with woman's heart and unravel mystery as the cores and large numbers of supplementary mortal goo. Change soul, sword eyebrows, flying sword, sword escape, wave sword and rank 8 wisdom sword were all refined by Fang Yuan with the help of the wisdom refinement formation. But the issue right now was that wisdom goo did not acknowledge Fang Yuan, which meant he could not use light of wisdom. So how would he arrange the wisdom refinement formation? To bring about the light of wisdom, Fang Yuan's soul had to be in his original body. Only then could he obtain Wisdom Gu's acknowledgement. So this issue came down to the previous point, that was Fang Yuan's immortal zombie body. The plan of refining Attitude Gu and making it completely his was set aside for the moment. Fang Yuan's next plan was to feed Wisdom Sword Immortal Gu. This immortal Gu was like Attitude Gu, it was similarly a rank 8 Immortal Gu. It was classified under Sword Path and also under Wisdom Path. Wisdom Sword cuts the threads of love. In the past, Sword Immortal Bo King used this Immortal Gu to cut the Wisdom Path Dao marks left by Love Gu on his body, getting rid of the restrictions and regaining his freedom. He even used this to incite Spirit Affinity House's Fairy Mo Yao to rebel, using her for his own purposes. This Wisdom Sword Immortal Gu could be said to be an amazing method which helped Bo King to turn the tides of his situation. Right now, Wisdom Sword Immortal Gu was already refined by Fang Yuan. But it was rather difficult for Fang Yuan to use it currently. It was already very hard for Fang Yuan to use Rank 7 Immortal Gu. Using Green Grape Immortal Essence to activate Wisdom Sword Immortal Gu if compared to a situation on Earth, might be like trying to run an aircraft carrier with two double A batteries. Wisdom Sword Immortal Goo was a genuine Rank 8 Immortal Goo and needed Rank 8 Immortal Essence to activate. One could see how outstanding Attitude Goo was from this point. Although it was also a Rank 8 Immortal Goo, Attitude Goo could be activated using mental energy and be freely used by even Rank 6 Goo Immortals. It was worthy of being a legendary Immortal Goo recorded in the Legends of Renzu. Wisdom Sword Immortal Goo feeds on multicolored overlord flowers. This flower is extremely huge. Each mature multicolored overlord flower can cover an enormous surrounding range. For the flower to mature, it requires large amounts of illumination, intense sweet scents as well as pearl soil. This difficulty was very high, many times higher than flowing light fruits. Flowing light fruits were only a rank 6 immortal material, while multicolored overlord flowers were rank 7. If Fang Yuan wanted to plant multicolored overlord flowers on a large scale, he needed to fulfill three conditions. Illumination, sweet scents, and pearl soil. First, illumination was quite difficult. Fang Yuan's immortal aperture had about a hundred or so light path Dao marks, so it was filled with some light and was not dim like his immortal zombie body's dead aperture. But this light was certainly not enough to fulfill the demands of multicolored overlord flowers, unless he used the aurora lights of flowing light fruits. But if he did that, his plans for flowing light fruits would be completely ruined. Light would be used up, it was consumable especially since those aurora lights did not have any source right now. The most basic solution was to increase the number of light path Dao marks in the immortal aperture. 
Light path Gu immortals with deep foundation and accumulation often had limitless illumination in their immortal aperture. But for Fang Yuan to achieve this in a short period, apart from having the earthly calamity be a light path calamity, he would have to kill light path Gu immortal and absorb their Dao marks. The former was up to heaven's will, it could not be relied upon, while the latter was dangerous and also not reliable. Battles were hazardous and terrifying. Back then, Fang Yuan was able to kill Kai Zai because the latter had underestimated him. Chasing him all the way, Fang Yuan had also used the special terrain of the five regional mountain range and used familiar face before he killed Kai Zai, obtaining the corpse and the soul. The first condition, illumination, was the most difficult to resolve. There were many ways to obtain the other two, sweet scents and pearl soil. Pearl soil, especially, was sold on a large scale in Treasure Yellow Heaven and was also not expensive. Of course, Langya Blessed Land did not have them. The aforementioned plans were only those for feeding Attitude Gu and Wisdom Sword Gu, and they already took up much of Fang Yuan's time and energy. Fortunately, Rank 9 Wisdom Gu's feeding was already taken care of by Lang Yolan Spirit. Wisdom Gu's food was lifespan Gu. Fang Yuan did not even dare to think about it. Even he would want to take its food. The feeding plans for Attitude Gu and Wisdom Sword Gu have already been arranged. Next would be the Rank 7s, Change Soul, Sword Eyebrows, Wave Sword, Sword Escape and Calamity Beckoning. Fang Yuan had already fed Calamity Beckoning Gu with the black blood of the Six-Headed Snake. The Six-Headed Snake was a desolate beast with six heads. Fang Yuan had once bought the snake's corpse in Treasure Yellow Heaven, but now for his long-term plan, he intended to move over several six-headed snakes into his immortal aperture to breed them. As for the other rank seven immortal Gu, their feeding plans required Fang Yuan to carefully arrange them. Naturally, Fang Yuan did not forget Chu Du still had his rank 7 flying sword immortal Gu. Its feeding issue was handed over to Chu Du. In any case, Chu Du coveted Fang Yuan's tribulation technique. How could he let flying sword immortal Gu starve? In this aspect, Chu Du could be considered to be helping out Fang Yuan and decreasing his burden. Chapter 1084 Manipulating Mortals plotting against the land spirit. In Lang Ya Blessed Land, the capital of Black Hair Kingdom, there was hubbub of voices, a nationwide competition was reaching its end. On the arena, the final two Gu Masters were in an intense battle, chasing for the final throne of victory. Almost all the observing hairy men were supporting one side. Because the other side was Gu Yu Fang Zheng. He was a human Gu Master, so he naturally would not receive the support of the hairy men. Even the black hair king observing from the raised platform was frowning. He did not want to see the final winner of the first national martial contest to be a human goo master. Would this not make his kingdom the laughing stock of the other two kingdoms? It would even seem like the black hair kingdom's talents were declining to let a human goo master easily obtain victory. If Fang Zheng won, it would no doubt seriously infringe on Black Hair Kingdom's political interests. So the Black Hair King had already planned beforehand and tampered with this battle. It has finally activated. Black Hair King suddenly felt joyous as his eyes flashed with bright lights. On the arena, Fang Zheng suddenly felt dizzy and almost fell down to the ground. What's happening? Feng Zheng paled in fright and subconsciously pushed his hands. Rumble, surging waves rose up out of thin air and charged towards his opponent. Fang Zheng's opponent was a rank 5 fire path hairy man goo master. Fang Zheng's sudden powerful attack gave this hairy man a scare. He immediately jumped to the air to avoid the wave. Under his hairy feet were two lantern-like flames, which could let him float for some time. But because of this, he lost the best opportunity to attack Fang Zheng. Fang Zheng was slowly recovering but still felt extreme dizziness. His condition was quite bad, but he had experienced many setbacks and tempering. So right now, he had already restrained his expression, not showing anything wrong on the outside. 
The wave appeared quickly and dissipated just as quickly. The hairy man Goo Master also hurriedly descended. He was not a flying master, standing in the air would make him a good target. Just now, he was forced to dodge the water wave with no alternative option. Right now, he was immediately making up for it. The two sides confronted again. Fang Zheng, you have been schemed against by someone. I do not know when, but someone secretly planted a goo worm in your soul. Fang Yuan's will reveal the truth to Fang Zheng. How could it be? Fang Zheng was shocked and furious. Fang Yuan's will sighed. This soul path Gu Worm has a faint connection with that black hair king sitting on the platform. It seems he is the one who schemed against you. Damn it, damn it! Fang Zheng clenched his fists, finally showing a furious and hatred filled expression. What happened? Fang Zheng's opponent was observing his expression and suddenly seeing his expression change. He thought Fang Zheng was preparing a powerful move and was immediately on complete guard. Fang Yuan's will sneered. Now do you believe me? I already told you Black Hair Kingdom's higher-ups won't let you win so easily. This martial contest has all along been a tool for those in power. Although they advocate fairness on the surface, those that truly expect it to be fair are fools. You are right, Fang Zheng gritted his teeth. His eyes opened wide as if fire would burst out. But I want victory even more now. Heh, this enthusiasm, you are still so young, my foolish brother. Fang Yuan's will was very aware of Fang Zheng's unwillingness to give in, thinking of this secretly. Actually, the best response would be to intentionally lose to the opponent and end at second. With that, Fang Zheng would not have to overwork himself and Black Hair Kingdom's higher-ups would also be happy to accept the result. Such an outcome would not only show Black Hair Kingdom's talents to be outstanding, it would also show the king's generosity of promoting talents, no matter their origins, even accepting a human goo master. However, Fang Zheng wanted to get the first position. Not only was it making it hard for himself, he was also turning other hairy men hostile to him. First or second, what's the difference? Just momentary victory or defeat, it would not be a turning point of one's life. Was it really so important? But Fang Yuan's will was happy to see this. Fang Zheng was deeply prejudiced against him. Only by using constant pressure from external force could Fang Zheng work together with him and be subtly influenced. And the current choice made by Fang Zheng would result in an enormous obstruction, which was greatly beneficial for Fang Yuan's training plan. So, Fang Yuan's will decided to do all he could to bring about Fang Zheng's wish. He spoke, I am only a will, you can only think about how to get rid of this soul path goo worm after the battle. Right now, your soul is injured and so you cannot use river swallowing toad anymore. After all, commanding river swallowing toad to battle uses up an enormous amount of your mental energy. Although you have lost this trump card, you still have hope to win. Just listen to my instructions now. Fang Zheng let out a muffled snort, although he did not feel good about it. With the current situation as it was, he could only give tacit consent to the words of Fang Yuan's will. Fang Zheng himself might not be aware of it. But after these days of interaction, he had indeed begun to change. Just as Fang Yuan went out of Luopo Valley, his will returned to him. After careful inspection, finding no issues with it, Fang Yuan let this will enter his mind. In his mind, countless thoughts surged like tidal waves and surrounded this will, closely interacting with each other. In just an instant, Fang Yuan learned of Fang Zheng's recent developments. Oh, under my will's instructions, he defeated his opponent and obtained first. Doing pretty well, I see. But with this, he has caused the entire Black Hair Kingdom to lose face. Ha ha, interesting. Winning the competition, but losing even more, your coming days will not be so comfortable, my little brother. But this is very helpful to my re-education plan, isn't it? Moreover, I still have an arrangement left in Steel Thread City, which is currently being prepared. 
Fang Yuan condensed another will of his, its size was several times larger than the returned will. Re-educating Fang Zheng would need the will to think, which would cause it to be consumed continuously and require replenishment from Fang Yuan frequently. Right away, Fang Yuan pointed forward with a finger, several rank five goo worms flew out and guarded this enormous will as they flew down to Black Hair Continent. When they arrived just above Black Hair Continent, this will further divide it into two parts. One part flew towards Black Hair Kingdom's capital, while the other portion flew to Steel Thread City. Steel Thread City's city lord was that female hairy man who favored Fang Zheng. Fang Yuan's will quietly seeped into her mind. It was easy for a Gu immortal to plot against a Gu master. The female city lord was currently processing some documents, strictly managing the affairs of the city. She did not have even the slightest awareness of Fang Yuan's will, and also did not sense her lower abdomen had slightly swollen. My hidden card has been placed. In the sky, in cloud cover continent, Fang Yuan chuckled as he withdrew his gaze. This feeling of controlling the fate of mortals was indeed quite the symbol of being an immortal. The fundamental cause of it was that the strength of Gu immortals far surpassed mortals. Changing Fang Zheng's perspective has already shown slight success, moreover it is progressing smoothly. But I have yet to deduce blood deity immortal Gu's recipe. The problem is still wisdom Gu. Right now, some days had already gone by since Fang Yuan stored flowing light fruits in his immortal aperture. Fang Yuan was increasingly feeling the disadvantage of not being able to use the light of wisdom. However, the issue in his immortal zombie body was still in the process of being resolved. Fang Yuan pondered, his soul path attainment was far inferior to shadow sex, but he still thought of a way he could increase his soul foundation. This was coping with the changes by sticking to the fundamental principle. If he cultivated his soul to the terrifying level of spectral soul, any soul path traps in his body would be of no use. Naturally, for Fang Yuan to cultivate to spectral soul's level was extremely far off into the future. But Fang Yuan's immortal zombie body had only gone through Ying Wu's eye's hands, who was only a split soul that was far inferior to the main body. Thus, for the last few days, Fang Yuan was not only managing his immortal aperture and guiding hairy man Gu immortals, earning large numbers of sect contribution points, he also made time to enter Luo Po Valley every day to temper his soul. Afterwards, he would use Guts Gu to heal and strengthen the soul. Dang Han Mountain and Luo Po Valley were indeed the two sacred lands of soul cultivation, proclaimed by spectral soul demon venerable. Not even ten days had passed and Fang Yuan's soul foundation had already become quite deep. However, Fang Yuan was still not confident at the moment to test out the trap that might be in his immortal zombie body. Another day went by, Fang Yuan came out of Luo Po Valley and saw an information path Gu Worm flying towards him. Fang Yuan read it briefly. Lang Yilan spirit had called for him to discuss important matters. Fang Yuan was immediately joyous, thinking to himself that it was finally here. Actually, he had also been secretly waiting for Lang Ya Lan spirit's response. He immediately set out and not long later, he arrived at the first cloud city with the appearance of a hairy man. Lang Ya Lan spirit greeted, You've arrived, come sit over here. Fang Yuan had just sat down when Lang Ya Lan spirit spoke again. I considered your suggestion for some days, and I feel it is quite reasonable. But choosing Earth Trench is not very appropriate. You might not be aware, but currently Earth Trench is in a mess, much more activity there than in the past. Many Northern Plains Goo Immortals of Righteous Path, Demonic Path, or even Lone Cultivators are hanging out there. Fang Yuan revealed a slightly surprised expression, and deliberately asked while knowing the reason clearly, what is the reason? Because of the battle on Yitian Mountain, each region's zombie alliance has now become an empty shell. Northern Plains zombie alliance also disappeared without a trace, inciting many doubts and probes. Zombie alliance's members seem to have almost all died. 
the probing Gu immortals became more audacious seeing no response. Not only have they already encroached upon Northern Plains Zombie Alliance's cultivation resources, they have also invaded Earth Trench. That is where the final territory of Zombie Alliance is. According to the rumors, a righteous path, wisdom path, Gu Immortal deduced that Northern Plains Zombie Alliance's headquarters, Dark Flow Giant City, had sunken into Earth Trench and disappeared. Lang Yalan's spirit replied. So it was like that. Fang Yuan showed a look of realization. Since that is the case, Earth Trench is now a dangerous territory. It seems my previous suggestion cannot be implemented. While saying this, Fang Yuan inwardly thought, it seems that although Shadow Sect intentionally sacrificed Zombie Alliance, they had also left behind some defensive measures, like Dark Flow Giant City sinking into Earth Trench. With Shadow Sect's methods, since they could make Dark Flow Giant City sink into Earth Trench, it is probably hidden very well. It will be very difficult for the Northern Plains Gua Mortals to find it. Their efforts might even be in vain. Lang Yalan's spirit continued. Earth Trench's situation is too complicated. We cannot meddle in it. But your suggestion is still good. I have decided to adopt it. At present, the location I have decided upon is also one of the ten great fierce areas, this one. Saying this, Lang Yalan's spirit pointed at a part on the map. Fang Yuan's sight followed Lang Yalan's spirit's hairy finger to the bottom right part of Northern Plains, to the southeast of a super force, Guan tribe, and northwest of another, Liu tribe. Fang Yuan's expression had no change, as he inwardly rejoiced, this is it. Chapter 1085, Trip to Tai Q. The location pointed out by Lang Yalan's spirit was Tai Q. Fang Yuan's true target was also Tai Q. But it was not good for him to say it immediately. He could only beat about the bush, leaving Lang Ya Land Spirit to comprehend the answer himself. Tai Q was one of the ten great fierce areas of Northern Plains. A type of giant grass grew here. This grass was extremely large and sturdy. One stalk of grass could compare to a normal tree of a hundred years in age. This giant grass grew everywhere in Tai Q. The huge swatis of grass formed into a large primitive jungle. Inside the jungle lived large numbers of desolate beasts and ancient desolate beasts, and one could even see vague indications of immemorial desolate beasts. So even Gu Immortals did not dare to intrude. Even those rank 8 Gu Immortals had to be careful, a slight slip up, and the disturbance could create a beast tied here. Dong Fang Chang Fan had set up his inheritance here for his possession revival plan. Later, Fang Yuan and the rest had also fought an intense battle at Tai Q. This place, you should be familiar, right? Lang Yalan's spirit smiled at Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan said, It is indeed somewhat familiar because of Dong Fang Chang Fan's matter. Saying this, he glanced at Lang Yalan's spirit. The latter clearly knew of this history. I intend to set up a teleportation Gu formation here at Tai Q. What do you think? Lang Yalan spirit asked. Fang Yuan spoke with hesitation. To speak the truth, I don't suggest setting up a Gu formation in Tai Q. It is because I am slightly familiar with it that I feel we cannot do it. This is a hornet's nest. Just a slight commotion can lead to a beast tide. And this beast tide won't be a simple mortal beast tide. It will comprise desolate beasts and even ancient desolate beasts there is even a possibility of attracting immemorial desolate beasts. I had fought here before, but that was because Dong Fang Chang Fan had set a battle stage using an immemorial ruined bat's corpse. The immemorial desolate beasts aura deterred other desolate beasts and ancient desolate beasts. It was because of this that there was no beast tied. But when the tribulation struck and the immemorial desolate beast's aura was eliminated, that immemorial ruined bat's corpse was immediately split up and devoured by countless desolate beasts and ancient desolate beasts. We can see how terrifying Tai Q is from this. If we were to set up a teleportation goo formation in Tai Q and set it around the periphery, we might be able to travel back and forth, 
but our sex goo immortals will also be easily sensed by other forces. While if we set the teleportation goo formation inside the inner regions of Tai Q, once a battle goes awry, the goo immortals would not be able to escape. Even if we choose an optimal location that considers these, once the battle's scale enlarges slightly, it will lead to a beast tide which could then be sensed by humans. It is because of these reasons that super forces don't want to touch Tai Q. Our sect needs to worry about much more than them. This area is not a good choice. Fang Yuan analyzed the pros and cons of the plan, speaking with a loyal expression as if he wanted to convince Lang Yalan spirit. Lang Yalan spirit laughed heartily. While laughing, he patted Fang Yuan's shoulder. He laughed for a good while before speaking. Fang Yuan, you are right, but you can be assured. Tell me, what is this? Lang Yalan spirit looked like he was offering a treasure as he handed an information path goo worm to Fang Yuan. After Fang Yuan inspected it, he pretended to have a shocked and joyous expression, stammering, Thigh, thigh, this, this is actually such a detailed map of Tai Q. This is truly a godsend at the most crucial moment. Ah, uh, no, our sex foundation is actually that deep. If I had not seen this personally, I might not have believed it. Hehe, <laughs> good kid, has your vision expanded? Lang Yalan's spirit laughed brightly, as he jumped and waved his hands. Amazing, amazing, Fang Yuan gave a thumbs up, expressing in a sincere way. Lang Yalan's spirit excitedly explained, In the past, to acquire immortal materials from Tai Q, my main body made repeated trips there, and after combining his experiences with others' deductions, he got this Tai Q map. So it was like that. Fang Yuan looked like he was enlightened. In truth, he was already aware of it. This intel was a small part of what he obtained from the transactions with Shadow Sect. This Tai Q map allowed Fang Yuan to plan and intentionally mention Earth Trench, while he was in fact luring Lang Yalan's spirit's attention to this place. Lang Yalan's spirit pointed at the information path Gu Worm in Fang Yuan's hand. This map not only records all the topography of Tai Q, it also records the distribution of the various beast groups. But there is a huge flaw. This map was created a long time ago. There will definitely be many changes in Tai Q after all these years. First Supreme Elder is right. I also have this worry. Fang Yuan quickly confirmed. Lang Ya Lan spirit continued, Aren't you familiar with this place? You are also a human goo immortal with change form immortal goo to boot. I intend to send you there with this map. Lang Ya Lan spirit had yet to finish speaking when Fang Yuan stood up straight and spoke without hesitation. First Supreme Elder only needs to give me the command. Being able to work for the sect and in such an important matter at that, this is my honor. Lang Yalan spirit laughed heartily, patting Fang Yuan's shoulder, indicating him to be seated. Fang Yuan, you are good, I didn't misjudge you. Rest assured, the sect absolutely won't treat you unfairly. On your trip, act according to the circumstances. The main matter is to inspect Tai Q's terrain and improve this Tai Q map. If you get the opportunity, you should set up the basic form of the teleportation goo formation at a suitable location. There are three locations on the map. These three locations mark the areas of the corpses of immemorial desolate beasts. Prioritize in inspecting these three locations. If you can set up a teleportation goo formation in one of them, that would be great. Naturally, you need to take care of yourself and move about secretly. Even if you are discovered by humans, never disclose the existence of our sect. Lang Yalan's spirit repeatedly reminded. Fang Yuan quickly nodded, even patting his chest in assurance. First Supreme Elder, you can rest at ease. I will make some preparations and set off immediately. Good, good. Lang Yalan's spirit laughed loudly, extremely pleased with Fang Yuan. Actually, there was not much to prepare, Lang Ya Blessed Land's foundation was deep. Fang Yuan was rather at ease placing Luo Po Valley, Bang Hun Mountain and Wisdom Gu here. Even if there was the spy from Shadow Sect, it would not hamper this situation. 
The disturbance Sixth Hair could create was small, adding on that Shadow Sect was already barely able to take care of itself, it would not dare to invade Lang Ya Blessed Land. As for Heavenly Court, even if they discovered Lang Ya Blessed Land, what would they do? During the Five Regions' Chaotic War, Heavenly Court attacked Lang Ya Blessed Land and a few times at that. In the end, Feng Ju Ji was killed off before they were able to conquer Lang Ya Blessed Land. Even more importantly, at present, the regional walls still existed in the Five Regions. Inspecting his immortal goo once again, Fang Yuan decided to carry almost all of these immortal goo with him. As for his immortal zombie body, he also brought it with him. His sovereign immortal aperture had enough space to carry them all. Speaking of which, his immortal zombie body was quite a problem, and the spring autumn cicada inside was even more of a problem. Spring Autumn Cicada was currently sealed by some unknown methods. It was unable to absorb the water of the River of Time and could only bear its hunger passively, gradually falling towards the abyss of destruction. Not only this, Spring Autumn Cicada still had Heaven's will in it. Fang Yuan already knew about this from the transaction. He also knew of much precious information regarding Heaven's will. These were huge gains. I have the Sovereign Immortal Aperture, which is a small world independent of the outside world. But right now, I am carrying Spring Autumn Cicada and large numbers of snow monsters filled with Heaven's Will. There will definitely be obstructions when I go to Tai Kyu. Just like when I was hurrying back from Southern Border, I met the Cloud Beasts, was pursued by Kai Zai and so on. Fang Yuan understood this clearly. He was no longer ignorant regarding Heaven's will. Instead, he knew a lot. Heaven's will was not omnipotent. Heaven's will had its own restrictions. After understanding Heaven's will, the threat of Heaven's will decreased immensely. After all, an unknown enemy was the most troublesome. Know yourself and your enemy, and you will never be defeated. The first earthly calamities might had sharply increased, Fang Yuan knew that was Heaven's will trying to eradicate him, but he underwent tribulation in the northern icy plain which unknowingly had helped him a lot. The reason was, a large portion of the earthly calamity had been influenced by reckless savage's true meaning, taking over the role of Heaven's will, forming into iron crown eagles, ruin bats, and so on. Only the snow monsters were formed from Heaven's will. Their bodies held purely Heaven's will, they would not rest until they eradicated Fang Yun. The influence of Reckless Savage's true meaning had weakened the dangers of the snow monsters by a large degree. Currently, these snow monsters were still in Fang Yun's immortal aperture. Each of them held Heaven's will, like Spring Autumn Cicada. When Fang Yun went outside, he would be as clear as a torch in the darkness to Heaven's will's perception. Heaven's will cannot make a move by itself, unless it is during calamities or tribulations. When I go out now, Heaven's will would definitely influence others to kill me. I will deal with whatever it sends when the time comes. Bright light flashed, in the central region of Dragon Elephant Plain, a young-looking goo immortal appeared out of thin air. He wore snow-white clothes, his face looked mild like jade, his dark hair reached down to his waist, and he had a pair of dark eyes which seemed to have unfathomable depths. He was Gu Yu Fang Yuan. I am out. Fang Yuan took a deep breath, and immediately activated defensive Gu Worms and investigative Gu Worms. Many types of investigative methods were activated together. His gaze scanned all directions, and his perception covered everything within 10,000 steps. It was temporarily safe. Every since Lang Ya Blessed Land migrated from Crescent Lake, its exact location was only known by Lang Ya Land Spirit. This was among the greatest secrets of Lang Ya Blessed Land, the Land Spirit would not tell anyone. But he had also arranged several teleportation goo formations outside, facilitating transportation between the inside and the outside world. This response was much wiser than the previous Lang Ya Land Spirit. One of Lang Ya Blessed Land's teleportation goo formations was set up at Feng Bo Cliff. Now, Fang Yuan learned of the location of a second teleportation goo formation, 
It was this place, Northern Plains Dragon Elephant Plain. I need to get a move on, it is not safe to stay for long at this place. At Fang Yuan's will, Goo Worms started to fly inside his immortal aperture. His figure shot upwards like an arrow. His field of vision immediately expanded, and as he looked below him, Dragon Elephant Plain's terrain entered his vision. Dragon Elephant Plain had a flat terrain and an extraordinary majesty to it. There was plenty of water and lush vegetation. Dragon elephant groups were scattered everywhere. This was a famous habitat of dragon elephants in northern plains and was under the control of a nearby super force. Grand rivers and hills, such a beautiful sight. Fang Yuan praised before hiding his figure and flying away. <laughs>